How's it going, everybody? My name's Release Radar, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over both my main setup, which is where I do content production, gaming, and homework for college, as well as this desk area over here, and my living room console setup. So let's go ahead and start out with the setup in here. Before we get into the rest of the video, I want to let you guys know that I started a podcast with some friends called Joystick Junkies. Go ahead and check that out in the link in the description below. And then also subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, it really helps. Let's get into it. All right, so first of all, I have the most essential part of the setup right here. I don't think I'd be able to run any games without this thing right here. Uh, this is a dog. It's the uh, model of Shepherd Lab, I believe. And um, we call this one Toby, <laughs> and she is a good dog, likes the chin scratches. But really, though, let's go ahead and talk about content production stuff. So in terms of decorations that I just think look cool both on and off camera, I have these 3D wall art panels. I have a spot right there where I usually have a banana hanging up, but I took it down because I had to record a professional video for one of my college courses, and I had to dress up professionally, and if I had a banana on my wall, that wouldn't look professional. And even if I blurred my background, you could still very clearly see the LED banana, so I had to get rid of that. But... I have these decorations all over the wall, 3D wall art panels. I also have acoustic padding on the door with nano leafs that are off right now. I have these Govi RGB rope lights around this section right here. And I also have acoustic panels all on the wall, except for like right behind the TV, as well as all around the ceiling with more Govi lights in the form of a light strip up on top. I also have an Elgato green screen that I don't use because I don't stream anymore but I, uh, I still have it. Moving over to the, uh, the lamp area, I have a Killzone Collector's Edition. I believe it's Hellgas. I got it from a friend, but I have the helmet up there. I also have a security camera and some parts of the Halo Reach Collector's Edition, as well as a Davy 504 U2s just chilling on the ground in the corner that I need a vacuum, yikes. Okay, this desk is a new part of my setup. This is where I film unboxings. I actually have an unboxing coming out or by the time you watch this video, it will already have been out. So it's of the Nintendo Switch OLED. I bought a used one from GameStop. Had some interesting predicaments with it, but that video is cool. Go check it out. I'll have it linked in the description below. But this, the whole point of the setup, it's like a $60 desk, $20 mouse pad. I'm reusing my old Logitech C920 to record top-down shots for certain unboxings. I bought some fake plants. And DEPGI sent over this portable monitor. This is actually the second portable monitor they've sent me, and I've replaced the one that I had before because this one just looks better. And I also have a 10 keyless keyboard and a mouse right here. So while I'm set up right here recording, I can still utilize my PC and like edit while I record on this screen. It's not plugged in right now, but if I wanted to do that, I could. And it's really helpful for content production. Additionally, I have this thing right here, which I can use to plug in micro SD cards, full size SD cards, or any other memory slots. So that's really nice. And I just have random stuff on top of my PC, like a handle for a camera, the mic to my camera, as well as the Steam Deck dock. And so that's basically like the content production corner. I also have a mini fridge, which was full of water, but I don't think it is anymore. Actually, I need to clean that out, so I'm not gonna open it. I had something explode in there. <laughs> Moving on to the gaming PC. I'll put the specs up on screen if you are interested. It's too much to remember, but it has the big boy, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 30, sorry, not 30 now, 4090. It's a beefy boy. And my cable management sucks. I've tried, I've given up, but it's better than it was. So gaming PC is just an absolute monster. It does everything I needed to do. And I'm so happy I was able to get that built. It's been amazing. I have lights on either side of the desk that either both point towards me, point towards me, point, whatever. I don't even know what I said. They usually both point towards me when I'm recording face cam, but I have that one facing that way. And I also have this light right here because I just recorded a video the other day using this setup. But back to this setup. Baller Gaming PC, I'm very happy with the way that that thing turned out. I also have a network switch. And then I use this HD 60S Plus with this Anchor USB power dock to record my Steam Deck benchmarks. I basically just plug this into the Steam Deck, HDMI goes into the capture card, and then that goes into the PC. And that's how I capture my footage for Steam Deck benchmarks now. Moving over to the gaming setup. I will try to have most of everything linked in the description, but if I forget something, I'm sorry. My main monitor is an LG ultra-wide monitor, 3440 by 1440 at 144 hertz. 
and then I have two separate 27 inch MSI monitors that are both 1440p 144 hertz as well so I can game across all three screens if I want to I've only done it once but it's super immersive and it's super fun in terms of audio equipment I use a Shure SM7B as my main microphone and for headphones I've had this pair of headphones for god since 2017 at this point but these are Sony WH-1000 XM3s and I actually recently replaced the ear cups on them. If I can find the picture of before and after, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. But it just made the headphones look like new and I've had them since 2017 and they have held up this long. Additionally, I use a Go XLR to route audio and mix audio. I did use to stream and I got this for free while I was streaming, but I still use it because it's just an awesome piece of hardware to just have. Other peripherals that I have on my desk, I have, which I need to clean, a SteelSeries RGB desk pad, a custom keyboard that my buddy Kyle built for me with the things you see on screen right now. I can't really remember what everything was, but this was a present for my 23rd birthday from him. It's an awesome keyboard. I absolutely love it. For my mouse, I use the G502 Lightspeed wireless mouse. I used to have the PowerPlay mouse pad, but it was causing some sort of weird interference with my audio setup. So every single time I would lift up the mouse, I would hear like this bzzz, Bzz noise from my uh, audio setup. Let me show you what happens every single time I lift up my mouse. And that was driving me crazy. And it went away when I took the PowerPlay mouse pad out of my setup. I still have it, but I don't want to introduce that bzz noise back to my audio because it would show up on every recording I did and it drove me crazy. Additionally, I have a stream deck that I use for content production, school, stuff like that. You can see I have the Respondus Lockdown Browser pens because I take exams for online college. So that's, that's fun. And then I have these two Logitech speakers. They're pretty cheap, but I think they sound really good. I'm not a huge audiophile, but I do care somewhat about audio quality. And overall, I think those are just great speakers for the price. I think they're like 40 bucks and they sound awesome for $40 speakers. In terms of other random stuff that I have on my desk, I have an Xbox Series X controller as well as a Razer Kishi. If you don't know what this is, you can put your phone, you can open it up so it's like it gets longer and then you can put your phone in the middle. And it's basically what that new Sony handheld is going to do. And so you can like, you can see this has the lightning connector for iPhones. And so you can put your phone in this and then you you can just play your games via Steam Link on your phone using this streaming your games, which is why I think the Sony PlayStation 5 tablet streaming device thing is so incredibly stupid because there are so many ways to do that with a phone you probably already have and like a $60 controller. So I don't really know why Sony didn't just make a hardware dedicated device. But moving on, I also have this camera right here it is a sony z1f or something i got this almost a year ago maybe not a year ago half a year ago and it's been an awesome camera and additionally i have plant on desk because plant helps plant good and then i also have a phone charger right here which is for magsafe phones and then i just have like blue light filter glasses and a camera phone clamp but that's pretty much everything I've got going on in here. I don't think I missed anything. TV, I missed TV. This is the Sony something 55 inch TV. I don't really remember the model number, but I'll have it up on screen right now. It's a good TV, it's 55 inches, 4K. I believe it goes up to 120 Hertz. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a great TV. I use it to just kick back in here. I used to have my consoles plugged in in here and I would kick back on these chairs. These actually recline. I just have to move them away from the wall. Just kick back and play some like Tears of the Kingdom or something up on the screen. But speaking of consoles, let's just go ahead and move into the other room and take a look at the console setup. Dog's probably gonna follow me. Come on, Toby. Okay, yeah. So this is my living room console setup. And I also have a gaming laptop. I play VR in here as well. So I'm gonna start out with the gaming laptop. This is my MSI leopard gp something laptop i'll have the specs up on screen right now it's a pretty good laptop for the money and i've been very happy with it because i am a student and when i go home for holidays or whatever i take this with me so i can still game while i'm home for holidays are you mad that i'm not giving you attention i'm sorry buddy i give you attention all the time let me turn on some lights i guess i could also showcase this right here in my lego shelf 
Um, during the pandemic, I got really into building Legos again and just reliving part of my childhood because I got so bored while I was stuck inside. So I got a Mandalorian set up here, another Mandalorian set down here, Boba Fett ship, BD-1, Dagobah. That was actually a Christmas present from my neighbor. And at at or is that the ATAT or ATS? I can't remember. Those acronyms are so annoying. And then, yeah, this is the biggest one I have at the moment. But I do plan on building some more sets here soon. I just am running out of shelf space. And what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you just mad that I'm talking to the camera? Are you just upset that you don't get all the attention all the time? Here, you want to see something funny? She just throws herself over the couch. <laughs> okay, so gaming laptop, good. I have my Vives um, like controller station thing like adhesive to the wall right here. I actually got my HTC Vive for 150 bucks on Facebook Marketplace, super cheap with the pro audio strap on it as well. And so that's my headset up there. I have a base station in that corner and then a base station in this corner. And what I can do is scoop my couch back so my couch blocks the door and I have like all of this space to play VR, it's awesome. For my VR controllers, I primarily use the Valve Knuckles, but I still do have the NX controllers. I just don't use them anymore. And then in terms of consoles, you can see I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. I had no plans of buying Switch OLED, but I just kind of impulse bought one to play Tears of the Kingdom, which is why I put up that poll asking you guys which Switch model you would want to see me cover. But this TV is awesome. It's a 75 inch 4K LG TV. I've got it connected to a Vizio soundbar. But the problem with this TV is that it only has two HDMI ends. And cutting to me sitting down right here, as you can tell, I have more than two consoles. I've got a blacked out PS5, an Xbox Series S, an Xbox One X, that's actually my, but um, it's my dad's girlfriend's son's Xbox. So yeah, I just have it because it was broken and he wanted me to try to fix it. And I don't really know what's wrong with it. Like the HDMI just randomly cuts out every couple minutes. And I don't know that much about taking apart Xboxes. So I'm not gonna bother because I don't wanna break it even more than it already is. So I gotta get that back to him. And then I also have an Xbox 360. And so because I have a Switch OLED, Xbox Series S and PS5 that I would want to play and only two HDMI ends, one of which is occupied by Arc for my soundbar, which I know I could go out from this for video as well, that does work. But um, I just decided to use something from one of my old setups that has just been collecting dust for the past couple of months. So if I go ahead and turn on the Xbox Series S and my blacked out PS5, you'll see that I can use this 4x4 or 4x2. I think it's two outputs and four inputs HDMI switcher that I have. And this does 4K60 which I believe I made a mistake when I did my review on this TV. I said that it went up to 120 hertz. I don't think it does. Uh, I don't know what I was on. I was completely wrong about that, but still 4K60 TV, 4K60 switcher. And so with a click of a couple buttons, cause I don't have anything in uh, input number four, there's the Xbox and then bam, there's the PlayStation. And then bam, we're back to the Switch OLED. So I just found for me and my use case, that's the best way to do that. And I got this TV, by the way, for only 500 bucks on Black Friday. So that was an absolute steal. But I know this video is kind of all over the place. I definitely missed some things, but I gotta get back to studying for an exam. So I'm just gonna kind of end this here. I hope this video gives you guys some sort of like rundown of like my console setup with VR and everything I got in here, as well as my main gaming setup, which I have in this room right here. I know this video was kind of a mess. I haven't done a setup tour in a hot minute, but I wanted to get this out to show you guys everything that I'm rocking right now. So with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Doesn't matter if this is your first video on the channel or you've been watching for, God, how long have I been posting? Three years now? It really does mean a lot to me. You guys are great. I have some exciting content planned for later on this year, so stay tuned for that. But with all of that out of the way, thank you again for watching. My name's Release Radar, and I'll catch you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Peace.